Close your eyes, watch your breath. In the same place, over and over and over again. You think after a while you run out of things to notice, but actually there's a lot going on right here. Because when you're watching the breath, it's not just the breath that's there, your mind is there too. And you can see it as it's thinking, as you can see it as it's forming intentions, wanting to do this, wanting to do that. And you can decide whether you want to go with it. All too often when we're not paying attention, we just go along with the force of whatever seems to have the most force in our mind. The Buddha said we're like taking six different animals and tying together with leashes. You've got a crocodile, you've got a bird, you've got a monkey, you've got a hyena, you've got a dog. And then the animals will pull, because in different directions. The crocodile wants to go down the water, the bird wants to fly up in the air, the monkey wants to go in the tree, the dog wants to go in the village. And it depends on whichever one is the strongest, you just get pulled along with them. And who knows what's going to happen. The crocodile gets strong and pulls everybody down in the water and they all drown. What the Buddha said is you need a post. The post is your mindfulness of the body, your mindfulness of the breath right here. As long as you're with the breath, you can watch the thoughts that would go out your eyes or your ears or your nose, your tongue, your body or your mind. But you don't have to go with them. They all have to st stay around the post. So try to stick with this post here, the post of your body. Anything that comes up in the mind, you check it and say, does this look like it's going to go in a good direction or not? Because as long as you're staying right here, you don't have to get pulled along. It's when you lose your sense of your body that, who knows, the bird pulls you up and everybody else gets hanging. And the crocodile pulls everybody else down to the water, they all drown. So for the safety of your mind, the safety of your well-being, you want to stay right here. You want to be in charge. Don't let animals be in charge of your mind. Animals of greed, aversion, delusion. You want to be a human being. You want your reason and your mindfulness and your alertness, your discernment. You want those to be in charge. That way your life is a lot better. The life of the people around you is a lot easier, too.